Hi there. Welcome to my bathroom. This is my last blog post of the year and I wanted to share with you something that I think is going to be really vital for you to start doing in the new year. I want you to start on the best foot towards optimal health, helping your body to detoxify on a regular basis, helping to boost your immune system consistently, and also helping to boost your skin tone, your skin glowing. Um, you want to cultivate really beautiful, supple, moisturized skin. And the thing that I'm going to show you today happens in the bathroom and it does all of those things. This is especially helpful for women, um, particularly as it's being studied as uh, something that can help to contribute in preventing breast cancer. So you're really going to want to pay, pay attention to this. So again, this is something that happens in the bathroom and it has to do with skin brushing. I have a couple brushes here to show you and uh, this helps with all of the things I mentioned, detoxification, boosting the immune system, boosting your um, skin suppleness and cancer prevention because it has, uh, it, it, what it does is it helps you with lymphatic drainage. And so what you do is you come into the bathroom, you're gonna get ready to shower. This skin brushing happens before showering. People often see these brushes and think they're for scrubbing your back with soap in the shower. That's not what these are. These uh, need to be um, natural bristles, like boar bristles. You don't want synthetic uh, fibers and definitely not something that's gonna be too harsh. And so I have a, this one's a little bit firmer. Uh, it's a little scratchier, though I've gotten really used to it and I really like it. Um, it has something handy that you can um, take just the brush and then you it, add the handle when you're going to do your back. Um, but this one I've also found to be really nice and pretty easy to use on my back. Um, and the bristles are a little bit softer. It's actually a little bit more pleasant on my face. So the way you do this is obviously you strip down and you're going to take your brush and you're going to brush from the end of your your extremities from your the tips of your fingers down your arms all the way towards your clavicle towards your shoulders and you know front and back of your arms and then do the same thing from the tips of your toes from brush the tops of your feet up towards your legs you brush your legs up towards your knees front and back and then brush up those thighs around the groin area area you really want to get the lymph nodes around your groin up your torso you can do little circular motions around your torso if you like but you're going to be brushing all the way up towards your clavicles and the reason for that is that your lymph capillaries are just under your skin and they get pumped the lymph gets pumped towards your um, shoulders with muscle contraction so aerobic exercise is great bouncing is great uh, massage is great but then the brushing also activates the lymph capillaries just under the skin and you're going to stimulate them to move to flow towards your shoulders so once they get towards the shoulders all of your lymph empties into the subclavicle veins and that your clavicles are the the uh, collarbone uh, your two collarbones here so your uh, lymph is going to drain into those those veins under your clavicles and then it goes to the heart to the to your lungs to be oxygenated and then from there they go, the blood goes to your liver to get purified so all of the debris that your lymph is carrying from your cells ends up in your liver but it first has to flow up towards your shoulders. You're going to brush up towards your so shoulders. So for women, it's really important to get all of that armpit area, underarm, and then around your breast. And you would brush your breast up towards your collarbone and really make, you know, kind of thinking of giving yourself this really nice gentle massage that's going to help to help with lymph drainage of your whole breast and underarm area. Um, at first you might feel like it's a little uncomfortable because the bristles can be a little harsh, but you, you'll get used to it and notice how comforting it actually feels. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something on that note, but maybe it'll come to me later. So, and then with your face, you can get a, a softer brush and use your face to brush your skin on your face and it gives you a little gentle exfoliation um, and you would brush downwards towards your shoulders. You can also 
uh, massage your lymph nodes right under your jawbone and behind and under your ears and you would massage down again down your neck towards your clavicles and helping all of that drain you can massage your scalp maybe get a good brush I actually have a wonderful wooden brush that helps to massage your scalp and get that flowing that lymph flowing down so once you've brushed all of your uh, body and actually with your back what you would do either a long handle or short handle you would try to as best you can also brush up your back towards your shoulders um, around your heart so see even with a short handle I can reach pretty well back there so once you're done with your brushing what you take is an oil this is one brand that I that I like it's an almond oil um, it has some rose essential oil in here, but I also sometimes use just sesame oil or coconut oil is my favorite. And um, you take some oil and then just massage your skin kind of in the same direction, um, lubricating, moisturizing your skin. You can do your face, all of your body, and then you shower. And of course, when you shower, you're not going to lather up and get all of that oil off. Just soap up the important parts, uh, but your torso, your arms, the skin of, on your legs, you don't need to soap that up and take the oil out. And you'll notice that the oil will work with your skin to help keep it lubricated, moisturized with this beautiful suppleness, and now it's been exfoliated. So... Over time, what you'll see is this, your skin softness will improve. Um, this, there be, the, there's like a glow that you get on your skin. And at the same time, you know that you're helping your body with lymph drainage, detoxification, boosting your immune system because the lymph is full of uh, white blood corpuscles, which is, you know, the strong armies of your uh Oh my gosh, your, uh, Im your immune system. And so uh, helping lymph drainage is going to help you keep those armies strong, you know, keep the lymph clear, keep your blood clean, help to detoxify your cells, and incredibly important for cancer prevention. So it's been a little bit of a longer video, but it's my last video of the year. I wish you a really happy, healthy, vibrant 2014. Get yourself a skin brush. And if you're interested, if you really want to get into deeper detoxification, check out the program that starts January 10th. Everybody in the program is going to get one of these brushes and get a nice package with some special oils and a handbook and all of that. So you can check that out. And if not, just get yourself a brush and start doing this because it's going to make a real difference in skin tone, in lymph drainage, and detoxification. So a wonderful... 2014 to you. I hope you have a great one and I will see you next year. Take care. Bye-bye.